Pertussis, commonly known as whooping cough, is a disease that can cause serious illness and even death in infants. And now health officials say if you want to protect your baby, you may want to focus on your teens first. News 8's Leah Linscheid has more. Babies can't actually receive the pertussis vaccine until they're two months old, and it doesn't even fully protect them until they're one. So how do you keep your infant from catching whooping cough? Get your other kids vaccinated first. So I wanted to talk to you about some shots today. 11 year old Gracie Kromke is meeting with her doctor today for a routine checkup and those dreaded vaccine updates. I'm getting flu shots. She's familiar with the typical flu shot update, but Gracie's also getting vaccinated for another disease today. You might have heard about this uh, infection called pertussis. Pertussis is that characteristic whooping cough where they try to inhale and they just can't get their breath. If we catch pertussis, and we expose little babies to it can be fatal for them. That's why doctors are encouraging teens and kids like Gracie to get the pertussis vaccine. A new study in the journal Pediatrics found vaccinating adolescents has helped keep infants out of the hospital. On average, about three out of 10,000 infants are hospitalized for whooping cough. According to the study, doctors estimate that number would be more than 10 if it weren't for the children's vaccine. The best protection for infants in our community is really that cocooning effect and immunizing the people directly around them. As an 11-year-old, Gracie's about to hit that age when she'll begin babysitting and handling infants. She loves babies. So it's that cocooning effect that Gracie's preparing for today with a couple quick pokes in the arm. Gracie, how was it? Good. <laughs> you didn't cry or anything. <laughs> You were so brave. She'll have sore arms for a bit, but Gracie's defense against pertussis will help keep babies in her community safe from that characteristic cough this winter. Whooping cough right here in the U.S. is actually on the rise. About 50,000 cases were reported last year, the highest since 1955. Doctors say infants are most likely to get severe complications or even die from the disease, and teens are most susceptible to spreading it. All right, thanks, Leah. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, kids should get the pertussis shot around age 11 like Gracie did. It's also now a required shot for most school districts.